All right, so let's just start the quiz. Um, okay, so I would please, if at this point you're still watching, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. We would really appreciate it. And then don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share this video to everyone trying to get into cybersecurity or someone that is already in cybersecurity but is sort of confused, like I was confused at some point. Um, this will really help them. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Then if you have any questions also you can leave them in comments i'll answer and i'm sure some of the cyber security professionals that also watch would also assist in answering the question so um the first question what aspect of cyber security interests you the most so um simulating real world attacks to improve defenses um so uh, obviously this one will be someone looking into the uh, ethical hacking penetration testing uh, finding vulnerabilities and exploiting them also relating to penetration testing or then responding to and mitigating security incidents so if you, want, if you want to be an incident responder or someone in SOC maybe this is where you consider then building and maintaining secure systems obviously this build when you talk about building cyber security architect and in some cases cyber security engineers you this is obviously telling that this is your role then monitoring and, and analyzing security events in real time so obviously this is SOC so um i think that for me let me just pick so again what i'm picking is not necessarily what i want but i just want to pick just as i'm assuming i'm someone else so let me just pick and then we'll see what i get in the end so let me pick uh, uh okay let's say i want to be let's say i'm you know, i have a persona of i want to be a penetration tester so typically i like exploiting things so let me pick that one so um what you do say is your biggest strength learning about new technologies and implementing security measures um analyzing data and identifying patterns so this cyber security analyst um, planning and strategizing for complex scenarios experimenting with different tools and techniques yeah i love experimenting with different tools so someone like this is obviously a, a pen test site, co hacker, on other stuff, solving problem solving and thinking on your feet. So, um, let me just choose this one. So, what type of working environment suits you best? Working independent on specific tax or project. Um, so, like I said, cyber security um, roles like uh, um, SOC, SOC analysts, those ones they work in a team, in, they call them the blue team. So, they work with other other people cyber threat intelligence uh maybe incident response so they work in a team there are some people that work alone like um all these ethical hackers penetration testers they don't so much work in a in a team um so collaborating with the team to design and implement security solutions so in all these things you don't need to so much um related to cyber security just as you as a person answer that question what type of envir working environment suits you the best so don't in, don't put it as cyber security in your mind just answer it do you like working independently on specific tasks or do you like co collaborating with a team to design and implement security solutions do you like try or do you thrive in high pressure situations and dealing with emergencies participating in adversarial simulations and exercises being part of a team that conducts continuous monitoring um so I, I think I, I let me just I, I don't I'm I don't think I thrive in high pressure situations. So um, I like I don't mind participating in um, simulations. So how do you handle challenges or setbacks? So this is as they're asking you not don't be done so much related to cyber security, especially when you're not working in that role already. So you, you might not know just your own answer based on yourself so i enjoy overcoming obstacles and finding creative solutions yes i love this so this is one that i could typically pick um i remain calm under pressure and focus on resolving the issue efficiently mm, maybe not so much um i i see challenges as opportunities to refine my skills and techniques definitely so this a and c definitely i think i could easily pick any of this i keep calm and follow the standard operating procedures and well you have to but it's not everybody that knows how to keep calm so if you if you work in a team then the other person could help you keep calm then um I analyze the situation learn from it and improve for the next time um yeah so i think i i see challenges as as opportunities to refine my skills so which skill do you think is most important in a cyber security career 
strategic thinking and understanding of adversary tactics, attention to detail and ability to detect anomalies in vast amounts of data, ability to think critically and make quick decisions under stress, hmm. strong knowledge of network and system architecture, uh, technical proficiency and understanding of hacking tools. So <laughs> for someone else, I assume I, I mean to, I like hacking and stuff like that, penetration testing, I would easily choose this because I believe this is a very important stuff, technical proficiency and understanding hacking tools, but maybe not, maybe it's not a, this is again, this is saying what do you think? So it's personalizing you, but necessarily, I don't think this is going to apply to everybody. Um, but yeah, strategic thinking, it's really important. So let me just choose this because I'm assuming I'm interested in, I think I'm interested in um, penetration testing. So if you could have any gadget from a spy movie, which would it be? So this is a very interesting question. Um, would it be the reportinator, which will capture a screenshot of a security tested system and feed it to the reportinator to generate a full report based on your finding? This is a very interesting uh, uh, gadget. Implementation one, plug it in and watch the best security measures implemented across your system. So I'm sure banks and lots of companies will love this without stress. They will just take the one and they just plug it in and then it will just set all their check for all the security measures. Uh, do, you, uh, do you have any loopholes? Is everything set up? Your firewall is you okay the way it is? You need to get more firewalls. So, I mean, that will save a lot of stress. And trace to face allows the user to see a digital footprint trace of incidents across the systems, guiding you through network traffic and system logs to the culprit. Mm, not, I'm not so much a fan of this. Rent a brain allows you to think like an APT, an advanced persistent threat of your choice seeing a system as they would and suggesting the next step of the attack this is really interesting i would love to see this threat actor what what we did uh, you can as if you are reading their mind or you are you are you are them so you can just step into an organization and you look around you check their processes and you say oh i, I can definitely gain access as a malicious um, person through either through social engineering this stuff or through this computer that does not have anti malware or through this firewall settings so you are thinking basically like a threat actor you and it's almost exact so i think this is a very important interesting one i could choose this this gadget and then cyber lens allows you to recognize false positive alerts on i mean this when you talk talk about false positives i'm sure those that are into the sock analysts will like this one um, but definitely i think this rent a brain or this uh implementation one is really one is really interesting so let me just pick rent a brain which of these scenarios would engage your brain the most um crisis management and resolving urgent security incidents um finding holes in a team defense simulating the actions of an attacker analyzing data and identifying patterns to detect anomalies and threats um complex problem related to building secure and resilient, um, resilient systems, puzzle-like challenges involving breaking through security measures. Hmm. I'm sure this one would, this is almost, this is almost like CTFs. And mm, I, I think, um, let me just pick this. I, I like breaking into security. I want to break into the security to see how it is. How do you feel about working collaboratively in a team? So do you like working with a team um yeah i enjoy working independently on tasks some people enjoy this so if you enjoy independent this thing so if you like working alone so this is giving you an idea that so the h1 says how do you feel about working collaboratively in a team um do you enjoy working independently on tasks and projects I uh, prefer collaborating with teams to achieve common goals, thrive in a team environment, especially during high pressure situations. Enjoy working in a team, especially when planning and executing attacks. I uh, prefer mixed independent work and collaboration with a team. Some people prefer mix. Um, sometimes you work independently, sometimes you work collaboratively. But I mean, um, let me just pick and um, enjoy working in a team, even though don't really i don't really love that every time um what would you consider the most rewarding aspect of a cyber security career so this is a really important question what what would you 
what would you say or how would you say oh yes this is definitely rewarding um is it by making a significant impact by mitigating security incidents and breaches was that when you feel rewarded or contributing to building secure systems that protect valuable assets uh, providing continuous protection by monitoring and analyzing security events the challenge of outsmarting defenses and testing security measures satisfying and uncover the satisfaction of uncovering critical vulnerabilities and weaknesses um so which one would you say satisfying or which one is rewarding um uh, so i'm looking at i'm looking at this 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 last one um i mean i would love to uncover critical vulnerabilities and weaknesses and say okay see this weakness see these vulnerabilities you need to fix it um but i mean you could yours could be anyone then the final question how do you approach learning and staying updated in the field of cyber security so this one is sort of testing how your research skills because there are specific cyber security career paths like for the i think in in general in general, all cybersecurity career paths require you to do some form of research because cybersecurity is ever changing. There's a new thing each and every time. But for some of these other parts, um, yeah, you you require very um, lots of research, like almost daily research. So you're looking at those doing CTI, cyber threat intelligence, cybersecurity analysts, and maybe SOC and all those other pathways. Um, yeah, so I think another part I, I forgot to mention was cloud security, um, cloud security professional. Or, but most times those ones are still under cloud, um, cloud uh, security architects or or engineers. So, but like like I said before, there is like breakdown under this major one. They are like breakdown. So there are people that deal with cloud secu- cloud security and. Um, then the application security, you're looking at those that are doing this uh, cyber security engineers, you have application security because, uh, so there, yeah, there are lots of breakdowns. So let's just answer the final question. How do you approach learning? Um, okay, experimenting with new tools and techniques in a hands-on manner, um, keeping up with the latest development through research and training, learning from real-world incidents and applying lesson learned. Um, engaging in practical exercises and simulations to hone skills, reading cybersecurity blogs between incidents and alerts. Um, I think this keeping up with latest development through research and training sounds interesting. So my results are loading. <laughs> like I told you before, I already, I already based on I, I sort of knew that it's going to give me a penetration tester. So based on my responses it's giving me a penetration tester but the one i did actually showed me that uh i was supposed to be a security analyst which uh i'll put it on the screen but uh, obviously that one showed me what i really wanted to do even though under the security analyst i'm looking more into the cyber threat intelligence now and not just cyber security not just cyber threat intelligence i'm looking at how to fuse in ai to whatever i'm doing because ai now is the future so um anyway uh, i hope this was helpful i this video was longer than it should have been but i i, I know maybe beginners would have found this very useful compared to those that, are, that have already been in the field and could already know some of these things that i said but yeah go ahead um i would put this link in the um, in the description you can go ahead and um, click on it and then you can you can start you can feel it and see what you get but please um, you need to have a try you I don't think you necessarily need to have a try hack me account to do this but try and register for the try hack me account I will send you a referral link which you can use just um, a referral link you register for try hack me which is a good platform for um doing capture the flag uh, and also learning stuff relating to cyber security yeah so um thank you and i will see you in my next video bye guys